Welcome to Corner Store POS Software. I will be helping you become familiar with our software. Corner Store is the solution of choice for mom and pop retail stores. We will first begin by logging into Corner Store. The default administrator username is admin. A D M I N. The default password is A. Let's get started with creating a department. A department is a category that all inventory must be organized into, such as candy, soda, liquor, and other generic categories. To access this, select Setup, then Administrator, then Department Maintenance. To add a new department, click on Add. We'll need to enter in a department name and a department description sheet. Click on save, and OK, and exit. You have now added in a department for Corner Store. Now you will set up a tax rate. In order to set up a tax rate, you need to go to Setup, then click on Tax Rates. You can have up to three different tax rates. You can change the description of the tax rate to be something more appropriate. You can also change the tax rate by entering in the fields here. Click on Save, then click on Done. The next thing to do is to add an item into Corner Store. In order to do this, you must go to Setup, Administrator, then Inventory Maintenance. Then add a new item, click on Add. Then, in the Item Number field, you can either scan the item, or you can enter in any item number. Give the item a name. And give it a price. Or you can give it a price including tax based on the tax rate you had before. The price will adjust accordingly. Place it into an appropriate department and click on save. You've now saved an item to Corner Store. You can now purchase items in Corner Store using the items you've added. But let's say you don't have a scanner, or would like to make your popular items easily accessed. You can customize buttons on the side of the screen in order to fit your need. Go to Setup. Customize Screen to see all the buttons. First, you make a button that corresponds to a specific inventory item. Select the button you'd like to edit. For Function Type, select Inventory Item. For the number, you can look up the item by barcode or name. For display text, display something appropriate. You can also set a picture if you'd like. Click Apply Changes to save. Now you'll create a department button. Pressing a department button will bring up every item in a department in a window so you don't have to scan any items. In order to make a department button, select the button you would like. For function type, select department. Select the proper department and give it a appropriate name. Click apply changes. Now, if you have something that's price changes on the fly, such as gasoline, then you should create a variable price department item. Select the button you would like. For function type, select the variable price department. You can look up the item just like you would an inventory item. Give it proper text. And click Apply Changes. The last button is for an item that pays out, such as a lottery ticket. Just as before, select the item and select a variable price payout. Look up the item as you would before and give it an appropriate name. Click Apply Changes. In order to see these changes, you must log out of Corner Store first. Log back in. Now okay. we learn how to create a button down here in order to quickly access an item or department. If you want to make a department button, go to Setup, Administrator, Inventory Maintenance. The buttons below are your inventory items 1 through 12. The empty slot we're going to use is number 6, so we're going to add an inventory item 6. We will call the inventory item the department name. 
then attach it to the department of which is named. Save and exit. To view this change, we need to log out a corner store and look back in. Now we will learn how to ring up a sale and apply discounts. You can ring up items a few number of ways. You can scan the item, click on the inventory item on the side, click on the department button and select the item, or you can manually enter the price and the department. Now let's try to apply some discounts. There are two types of discounts, line and hold discount. Line discount discounts a single item, but the hold discount discounts the entire order. In order to perform the line discount, just like the item you'd like to discount, click line discount, and enter into percent you'd like to discount it by. Press enter. To do a hold discount, which will discount the entire invoice, press discount, and enter in the number in whole. 50 for 50 percent. Press enter. You can see you can see both discounts being applied. You can delete a single item on the invoice by selecting the specific item and pressing the delete button. Or you can delete the entire invoice by pressing void. However, you need administrator privileges to press void. Now we will finalize an invoice. So all you have to do is ring up the items that you'd like to sell. Click on the pay button and choose the correct payment. To account keeps it in a customer account, kind of like a tab. Credit uses the credit card. Debit uses a debit card, which also requires a pin pad, a gift card, cash, or EBT. So we get $5 in cash. Click the cash button and print the receipt. Now we will take an invoice and save it for later. So just bring up the item, then hold the invoice. And give the customer a name so you can search for them later. When you're ready, you can click Fetch Invoice, search for their name, and then process the transaction as normal. If you would like to use a credit card through Corner Store, you need to do one of two things sign up with Mercury Pay, US ePay, Net ePay, or Pay GX2, or use an external card machine on your own. Go to Setup. Administrator, Payment Processing. If you use one of our providers, you can run transactions through Corner Store providing information that they give you to use through Mercury, US ePay, HGX2, or NetiPay. If you're using an external machine, click Express Checkout, then click Save and Exit. The final thing we're going to cover is how to return items and void past invoices. To access this menu, Go to Windows, then Return Window. To look at your past invoices, click Recall Invoice. Look up the invoice number that you want to return, or void. To return an item, just click on the return quantity, the number you want. Click Calculate Refund, and hit Pay, then hit Cash to return the money. If you want to avoid the invoice, you can click Recall, go back to the invoice, and just void the invoice. This will remove it from your reports. Now you know how to use most of Corner Store's features in order to aid your store.